Lakeland Public Television's Common Ground is brought to you by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund. Hi, I'm Raymond and I've uh, been painting for about 12 years and uh, prior to that I did bronze sculptures and my career has probably spanned about 35 years in the field of uh, art and uh, the purpose for my paintings basically is to create an aesthetically pleasing image that can hang on the wall and people go and visit the painting whenever they feel like it and uh, hopefully they find something new each time they view the painting. The factors that go into a painting, uh, well of course the composition and design and uh, value is probably more important than color. If the value is not right in the painting, no matter what your color is, it's, it just isn't going to be right. Something's not going to look right. Something isn't going to feel right. And also in design, um, over the years, artists have developed methods and uh, ways to make a painting look like a painting and not a uh, uh, photograph, and not that I'm condemning photographs, but this is a whole different field than photography. So uh, the approach is different and uh, depending on the format, the, the shape of the format, a vertical format is designed a little bit differently than a horizontal format. And the elements are placed in a different way and uh, one of the methods that I use uh, is actually breaking the canvas down into thirds and placing the elements in those third blocks of space on the format. And for example, this one here, you'll see this upper element here. This area here is the background. And of course, you're dealing with the middle ground and the foreground. And as you go through the various grounds, and I usually start from the back and work forward, um, you change the colors, you change the values, the size of uh, the parts that are in the, the painting to make it feel like it's moving back in depth and it has perspective. And there are a couple of perspective elements that are <coughs> considered in a painting and that is, uh, and they are um, aerial perspective and linear perspective. An aerial perspective is, if you look in the distance, particularly in the morning after maybe a rain or a fog is set in, you see the haziness in the background and the foreground is more uh, distinct. That's aerial perspective. And linear perspective is the everything focuses back into a vanishing point. The images that I use are local images for this painting. Um, and this was up on uh, County 40. This is a scene I saw and I thought it was really interesting and uh, I realized there's a lot of green in there so I'm going to tone that down and uh, perhaps not use quite as much green, more warmer tones, uh, earth tones and uh, create a more aesthetically pleasing image than what I have in this photograph. And all the photographs, all the images I use in my work are my own. I don't use anybody else's. People sometimes come to me and ask if I could do a painting of this photograph they have and I say no, I can't do that because I have to have been there. The, the atmosphere creeps into you and it's part of the painting process. You need that to develop a good painting. These are some of my past works. The river is flowing north and all these beautiful colors in here. And you think when, when you think about the Mississippi River, you think about this huge, massive river flowing down south for like 2,300 miles. And you look at this little body of water up here and you know, how does it get to be so big all the way once it gets down to New Orleans? And also I think about the colors up here in the North Country are so much different than when you get down to the South. And I would use a different palette here than I would use in the South to paint that same river. But what's fascinating to, to me is that uh, the amount of water that's collected before it gets down there. 
I've done a variety of subject matter and I prefer landscapes over anything else. This is a scene in the uh, Clay Breaks. It's the Badlands of North Dakota. And again, this was a real bright morning in the summertime and it had been raining a lot out in that country. And the grass and the sagebrush were green. Typically, you don't see that. And the colors in the clay there are just so vibrant and blue and violet colors in the warm ochre color showing through. It's just a very peaceful place to be. And this was a scene I saw on my way up to uh, Tasca Park. I call it cattails and needles. Those soft pine needles growing there, the tree growing in the marsh was just seemed odd. But it made a, a wonderful scene. You can see the cool greens in the background here, contrasting with the warmer tones in the front here, earth tones. And of course, uh, the darker part of the tree trunk. Just one of those scenes that uh, appealed to me. It's kind of like people, you meet a thousand people and you might only find one person you kind of connect with. It's the way that going out and finding an image that is appealing. Now you can also take images that may not appeal to you. This is a funny thing too. I'll look at a photograph that I took or a sketch that I've done and I say, boy, there's something about this that I like and there's a lot I don't like about it. And I kind of put it off for a while and pretty soon I'll do a painting of it. And I finished the painting and man, I really like the painting. And what I was working from initially didn't really strike me all that much. <laughs> it's being good. This is one of those scenes I didn't feel real good about initially. I thought it was, uh, just didn't strike me all that much. And I studied the painting, did some sketches, and uh, pretty soon I came up with, oh, this would really look good if I did this, uh, change the color here, move this around, and it turned out fantastic. It's one of those paintings that you don't really want to sell. The title of this one was Spring Melt. It was in the spring of the year. This is an evening shot. You can see the warm colors cascading across the landscape. Very attractive. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland Public Television's Common Ground, consider making a contribution at lptv.org. If you have segment ideas pertaining to North Central Minnesota, contact us at legacy at lptv.org. Common Ground is funded by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund by the vote of the people on November 4th, 2008.